Some tend to put emphasis on the question of style, drawing comparisons between uh, President, uh, former President Mbeki and President Zuma. Is this really relevant when you take into account that both men would have been given a mandate by a political party upon whose mandate they would govern? Does, is this a mute point? I think style is important. Style has become a feature of politics all over the world. And uh, we see how style plays itself out in the US, in presidential style politics, in other democracies around the world, in Britain. Uh, and we in South Africa are modernizing. We're becoming a modern democracy, just like other democracies around the world. And very much what happens in the modern day in politics is that style becomes a lot more important, funnily enough, than substance. And I think we will see this play itself out in South Africa. Uh, Zuma epitomizes really the exact opposite of the Ntaba Mbeki presidency. He seems to be the affable man of the people, the man who can get down and the man who can dance with the people in all sorts of ways, uh, something that Thabo Mbeki could never do. He's somebody that reaches out to disparate and different groups in South Africa and makes it a point of going to visit minority groups. Zuma spent a lot of time wooing some of the poorer white communities in South Africa during the election campaign. So in a sense, I think that style is important. Style is really what managed to maneuver Jacob Zuma to a degree to where he is. And perhaps over time, if Mr. Zuma can adopt the Mandela style of presidency, that reaching out to different groups, uh, being the father figure, listening to a, a wide variety of opinions that seems to have been lost under the Mbeki presidency, then even if Mr. Zuma can't deliver all the goods, the style is one that might appeal to a broad range of South Africans and, again, could positively surprise many skeptical South Africans. Mm -hmm. 